So you want to know a little bit more about the Canon 90D. Hey, my name's Darren. If you're new here and you enjoy the video, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave me a like and a comment down below. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. And um, this is gonna be a very different video to what I've posted before. So if you've enjoyed my previous videos, they're all based around family vlog um, style type videos. They're sort of trips away with us, weekends away or holidays. Um, I enjoy making those videos. I'll continue to make those videos. But the reason I make them is really for our own family memories. Um, and if people enjoy watching along or um, looking to see if it's something that they might enjoy as a family, then great. But uh, the main reason I started the channel was just to document how we sort of grow as a family over those years and, um, and follow our trips away so we can look back at them in the future. Um, so today I thought I'd do something a little bit different on the channel and see how it goes. Um, something I've been interested in for a long time um, but never put a video out like it. Um, so I wanted to have a little chat about my new camera, the Canon 90D. So I've had the 90D for a couple of days now. Um, really enjoyed using it at the moment. Not got a great deal of use uh, from it over those couple of days. Um, weather hasn't been great. I've not really had a lot of time. Um, today's been my only day off work. Um, so I've not had a great chance to use it. But uh, just wanted to give a first impressions and try this out as a video style um, and see if... Um, anyone would like to see videos like this in the future um, and what kind of videos. So uh, the 90D itself, let's have a closer look at it. It's a uh, crop sensor camera, so not full frame. Uh, it's a weather sealed body. It's a 32 and a half megapixel sensor on that crop sensor. It's got the dual pixel autofocus and it's a follow up to Canon's very popular 80D. Um, the 90D came out at the back end of 2019 um, and is a follow-up to that camera. So fantastic um, DSLR, great image quality, fantastic video specs um, in that it can record 4K video um, and it can also do frame rates up to 120 frames a second in full HD. Um, so it gives you lots of flexibility uh, in terms of what you can do with video. Um, but it's also a great stills camera as well. Um, and that's one of the main reasons why I purchased this camera um, I've been using the Canon 750D or the T6i um, as it's called in America for um, two or three years now. I've been using that predominantly for stills um, because I do a lot of still work, um, still photography work in, in my free time. So I've been using it for that and it's been a great camera but it's got limitations um, certainly on the video side. It doesn't do any more than the standard 25 or 30 frames a second um, and the autofocus isn't just quite as quick or as sharp um, as some of the newer cameras. So decided it was time for an upgrade on there. Um, did my research, considered mirrorless. Um, don't know whether any of you guys have made that jump from DSLR to mirrorless at the moment and whether it was worth it. Um, but I've decided to stick um, on the DSLR side um, and um, just upgrade to the 90D at this time. It fits all my needs. And that's what's important when you're looking to upgrade your camera. Um, it's what do you need? from that camera. Um, for me, I needed a little bit more video wise because that's what uh, I'm looking to expand into. Um, and the 90D has those options for me. Um, so I didn't want to go any further than what my budget would allow. And that's very important as well. So when you are looking for a camera, if you are looking at the 90D, what is it you need that 90D for? Um, is it something that you can just get away with a, a lower spec camera? Is it just stills you're looking to do? Um, because my 750D, um, I probably won't notice a great deal of difference um, in the still photography between the two cameras. Um, my 750D's got a 24 megapixel sensor on there and my 90D's got the 32 and a half. Um, so I've got a little bit of extra resolution there to play with, but I probably won't notice a huge difference, certainly when posting to uh, social media like Facebook and uh, Instagram. But the options are good to have. You can crop in that little bit more with the bigger sensor um, on there but um, weather sealed body is a great feature have as well when I'm outside taking photographs um, a few months ago um, I did an outdoor street photography um, session for um, a local charity um, captured some of these great images and um, just in case it rains on you it's always nice to have that weather sealed body just to give you that added protection so what would you like to see me shoot with the 90D would you like to see a comparison video 
um, against the 750D. So if you have got one of the lower Rebel models, um, would you like to see if the 90D is worth it stacked up against that? So would you like to see a video comparison, um, a photo comparison, um, just to see whether it's worth you upgrading as well? Um, I'd be interested to know your thoughts, your comments on it. Um, so make sure you leave them down below. And um, I hopefully do some follow-up videos when I've had some time to play with the 90D and uh, see how it goes from there. But um, as for now, fantastic feeling camera, fantastic looking camera, autofocus is fantastic on it. Um, the dual pixel is a huge upgrade um, on there, really, really nice. Um, and it's something that I'm really looking forward to using. So um, as I say, make sure you leave me a comment um, and a like on the video and subscribe and we can slowly grow these videos together. Bye. Thank you.